Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I got something. Cheap earbuds. These were $15. So, uh, I think I'm gonna reveal them. And we will. No, I will see if they're good. Uh, apparently, they are... They have 24 hour... 24 total hour playtime. I'm guessing it's 24 hour. Not really. 32 foot of Bluetooth range. And it's touch control. Is that the brand? Alright, the brand. They really like to include the... Oh, it's 24 hour playtime. So, uh, yeah, there's all the specifications on the back. I do not care about reading those. Since I don't think YouTube likes knives, I'm going to open it down here. Alright. YouTube, I don't think, likes weapons in their videos. $15. So what do we get for $15? We get instructions. We get it. The, the thing itself. And USB-C charger cable. I could use that. But it's. Let's see, what length is it? Or does it, it should say on the package. Right? Uh, it's the USB-C charging cable. What does it come with? Charging cable, it's like a 30 centimeter charging cable. Or, oh my God. Or 11 inches. Pretty impressive. Uh, we gotta do, we got they feel cheap already, kind of. Uh, we gotta do the satisfying peel. Uh, it's got a mirror surface. Here's what you get. You get, you get earbud one, earbud two. They got like these things on the back that apparently keep it from charging. I don't know why they have these things on the back. Like these little tabs. I don't understand. We got these on it. Little blue stickers. Oh look, that one started up, but the other one didn't. I wonder why. Why didn't the other one start up? Why don't the other one start up? There we go. Got this, look! The touch control, like I say it is. At 81%. I'm gonna pair them up to my MacBook real quick so I can test the audio. And stuff. This is how I'm working right now. Alright. System preferences. There are two Bluetooth. Should be a button on these. There's not a button on these. Or a button on these. And it should be discovering. Discover this. You've actually got to be kidding me. They aren't discovering. Oh, the, the, the screen touch control. It's the thing. Is it touch control? Like I said, it is. It says it's charging the right ear, but. So this should go in my right ear then. Good fit. 
immediately open my Apple Music. Try to find a, trying to find a good song. Maybe something with a little bass in it. Thinking, what was recently added to my playlist? This one. That pauses. That plays. They are okay, actually. Not too bad. Audio wise. Okay, that's enough. Just trying to play. Do not play it on the laptop. I'm gonna close my Apple Music just in case it tries to play it on my laptop. So, uh, yeah. Oh, this one looks like fingerprint. Fingerprint. Um, this is snake. Battery drains pretty fast. Test. <laughs> Pretty strong magnets. Test is even harder. Okay, let's just try that one more time. <laughs> just one more. Do not open my Apple Music and please start. Do not start playing things. All right, ready? Uh, do not open my Apple Music, I swear. God, it's opening it again. <laughs> Pretty tough case. Didn't even need the instruction manual. I mean, there's not that much plastic waste. Which is okay because of the environment. Need to save the environment. I'm just saying, these aren't the best, but it's still. I'm betting this mirror surface would crack really easily. Might be another video. Might be another video. Here. Does the charging work? Uh, that's the main. Uh, we'll use this. It connects to the MacBook because it's all USB C. Does the charging work? It shows it's charging. 76%. Did I already crack the mirror thing? Mm. Nice scratch down the middle of it. Nice scratch, too. I don't think y'all could see it. But... Oh, that's behind everything. You could see it. It's like a nice... Oh, God. You see it's like a nice crack. Or a scratch. trying to polish it real quick so y'all can see it. Just, just a little bit of throwing around. I'm trying to see y'all uh, see. Y'all see everything else but that. There's a crack like right there. And it's only been a basic and maybe it's a scratch. But who knows? Wow. Very durable. Yeah. That's kind of durable. Uh, will it withstand with its own charge?
put a slight little dent in the mirror. Mm. It's only putting dents in the mirror. See you, buddy, Tanner. I swear, if it don't show anything, you can see a few dents in there. If it kept the plastic on there, it wouldn't have done that. This wouldn't do anything. It might protect the screen once, it won't do it again. So, yeah. What do I rate these? I don't know. Uh, basic. I thought this was touch screen. It ain't. It's literally a mirror, so I can check my style whenever I'm on the go, apparently. And these are bulky. Look how thick they are. Oh my god. Get this. And back in the box. Let's see how bulky they are. Not that bulky. They, you could probably see them right there. They are pretty bulky. These do have a tight fit in my ear. They have a tight fit in my ear. Do not open Apple Music, I swear. But the touch controls are on these sitting little things. The things are blinking. And oh uh, yeah. Would I use them if, say, I was stranded on an island and I had them? Yeah. Yes, I would. They got good... Good, they got some good sound quality, and also, I mean, sure how much they charge. But yeah, I would. I would. I would definitely probably take this on a stranded island if I had to be stranded on an island for a week. But if there's no charging available, I'd probably still use them because they don't seem to pick up that much uh, audio or uh, battery. Let me. So, uh, yeah. Do I recommend them? I don't know. Compared to, like, these that are also fake AirPods that I don't use anymore. I just have around. I mean, yes, it's USB-C and they're fake. Um, basic. These were good. These are a little better. These are actual AirPods. I promise you that. Uh, these are, they are pretty standard. Uh, sound quality's a little better than like, maybe some basic earphones that you find at the Dollar Tree or something. But yeah, you also get USB-C, so, I don't know. Just saying. It's actually kind of an actual, useful USB-C cable. Maybe use it. Might use it. So, uh, what do I think of the packaging? It's small, not that much plastic waste. Um, but yeah. The near finish. There's already a scratch on the back of it. A deep scratch, too. Sliding around the thing. The dang thing. Let's see how it scratches. Let's see if this scratches the mirror surface. Maybe 20 bucks it did. You already had another scratch in it. Great. But hey, do I recommend them? For Stranded Island, yes. On the go, maybe. Everyday use, probably not. So, uh, yeah. This is my review of these headphones. So, uh, yeah. I guess I'll see y'all next time. Oh my god, there's even more scratches in it. For me just doing that. The mirror surface scratches really easily. Why can't y'all see anything but the scratching? You see a little scratching. There's maybe a few scratches. Can't see it. But okay, this will be the end of the video. Okay, hold on before I end it. These are base jacks. Uh meter yeah meter <laughs> but yeah this will be the end of the video make sure you like and subscribe hit that bell icon because i'll be seeing y'all later bye